math and science and finding the LCM and the GCF of 15 and 60. The lowest common multiple is the smallest number, but both the smallest number that both of these numbers will multiply into evenly. And the greatest common factor is the smallest number that multiplies into both numbers evenly. So let's go ahead and find them. And I like to use a factor tree. So I'll complete a factor tree for 15, which is 3 times 5. And I will circle both of them because they are prime. So I'll write the prime numbers for 15 are 3 and 5. Now I'll complete a factor tree for 60. 2 times 30 equals 60. Circle the 2 because it is prime. Now 2 times 15 equals 30. Circle the 2 because it is prime. And now 3 times 5 is 15. Circle them because they are prime. So I'll write out the prime numbers for 60. They are 2, 2, 3, and 5. Now to find the LCM, I just basically multiply all the prime numbers together. However, if they're found in both numbers, I only multiply them once. So I'll start with the 3 and the 3, so only multiply them once. 5 and the 5, 2 and 2. So 3 times 5 is 15, 15 times 2 is 30, 30 times 2 is 60. So the LCM of 15 and 60, excuse me, is, yes, 15 and 60 is 60. Now for the GCF, I just kind of repeat the same thing. I'll write the prime numbers. Okay, and we got 2, 2, 3, 5. And then what you do is you multiply numbers that are found in both of these numbers. So 3 is found in both. 5 is found in both. So it'll be 3 times 5, which is 15. So the GCF of 15 and 60 is 15. So there we go. The LCM and GCF of 15 and 60. Thanks for watching. And Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.